Family and friends of a 10-year-old boy who was shot at an East Baltimore strip mall Friday night want the shooter off the street. Tonight, that boy is recovering, and police are on a hunt to find the suspect. WJZ is live. Amy Yency is at city police headquarters. So, Amy, police are asking for help to track down this shooter, right? Yes, Gigi, they are because they do not have a suspect at this hour. They were back at that strip mall today, really all day talking to people, looking for leads, but they're really calling on any witnesses to step up and speak up. Leaving no stone unturned, police returned to the East Baltimore strip mall where a 10-year-old boy was shot. I heard. That's ridiculous. Officers patrolling Frankfurt Plaza hand out flyers and hunt for clues on the Friday night shooting. Police say the 10-year-old boy was caught in the crossfire and shot in the arm. When gunfire erupted, people in the area are stunned. It rocks you out. Wow, a 10-year-old. Wow. Published reports say the innocent bystander was walking with his 12-year-old brother to the family dollar store to buy juice while his mother waited in the car. Police say the boy was walking in the store when he heard a loud sound. He ran for cover inside and realized he had been shot. Patrol cars stayed on scene Saturday, an unnerving sight for shoppers. I am concerned that the crime is on the rise everywhere we go. The boy was treated for non-life-threatening injuries and released from Johns Hopkins Hospital. The shooter got away. When a child is walking into a store, uh, he should not be in fear that someone's going to fire erratic rounds and one might hit him. That's why police and worried neighbors are hoping the shooter is caught. Turn yourself in because it could have been my child or your neighbor's child. Could have been your grandchild. So there's now a reward for any tips that lead to an arrest. And again, Gigi, that 10-year-old boy will be okay. Thankfully, his 12-year-old brother was not injured in this shooting. We're live tonight from City Police Headquarters. Amy Yancey, WJZ, Eyewitness News. Back uh, to you. All right, Amy, thank you for staying on this story. And if you have any information on this incident, police want to talk with you. You can remain anonymous by calling Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP.